Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to a brand new Football Manager 2015 series here on my channel, Ruining Manchester City. Now this is something a little bit different to your normal FM playthrough because rather than trying to actually be successful and win everything within this case Manchester City, my aim is going to be to ruin them financially, ruin their squad ruin their season and hopefully ruin the club as a result. Now it's nothing personal to Manchester City but with them being kind of perhaps the most structurally sound club in Football Manager um, I think this is the best team to try and break because obviously it's going to not be necessarily the easiest given the money that they have. So right now we have their squad you can see it here and um, the general idea of this save is going to be that I try and do as badly as possible and then I'll probably manage them for one year and then we'll let time take its course and see what ends up happening. So I'm not sure whether or not every time I get sacked for the first season I should keep adding myself as a manager or if I should kind of manage for the club once. If I get sacked after four games then I've, I get sacked after four games and that's just what happens. Uh, if you want to let me know which way you think I should do it down in the comments that would be appreciated and if you're going to enjoy this series smash the like button right now scroll down hit the like button if we can hit 500 likes I will get the next episode up for you guys tomorrow so anyway uh, here we have the squad um, obviously all these players are going to be sold the tactics are going to be renovated I feel like there's a lot to do here so actually what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to skip to the end of preseason and I'm going to come back for the community shield game which probably won't be your traditional live kind of match day live comp because I'm hoping we're going to lose in double digits and to be honest, I don't think it's going to be entertaining watching me live comm a game for upwards of 10, 20 minutes. But anyway, I will join you guys in just a second and we'll take a look at what I've managed to accomplish in about a month in charge. Okay guys, so it is time for our Community Shield game against Arsenal, but before that, we've got to talk about how we've ruined the club. So let's get straight into this, shall we? Here's our team. Uh, there's a few players who are still here who we're trying to get rid of. But we've done quite a good job, I think, right now. If we look at our starting 11, we're playing a team of goalkeepers, outfield, and one striker in goal. So I'm pretty optimistic of our chances of success this year, I guess you could say. So anyway, um, yeah, looking at the team, it's a team of goalkeepers, and it's a team of goalkeepers, and you'll notice a lot of players on ridiculous money. Now, I've signed all of these players. They're all intentionally not very good. You can see here they're, they're bad for the most part. They're terrible. They're all on, all on 250 grand a week. After five league games, most of their wages are going to go up to 300k, and they've all got match high sterner clauses on and yearly wage rises of 50%. So next year, they'll be on 450 grand. The year after that, they'll be on 675 grand uh, and so on and so forth and they're all on five-year deals or at least the majority of them are I'm actually looking for it now and there are a few that aren't but a lot of them are on these longer term deals so maybe we should give them contract extensions can we do that we'll do that later but <laughs> anyway this is the team that we have so having a look at the transfers um, obviously we brought in a load of goalkeepers on free I also promoted all the goalkeepers from our youth team to fill out our starting 11 and then looking on the outs uh, we, we, we sold everyone on a free and then we released all the good youth prospects in the under 21 so how many players went out in total I don't know if this is going to work but if I highlight them all and right click we sold 49 players and loaned out a few as well so pretty good first season I think in charge um Onto the tactics, the most important thing about any football club. Uh, here is our system. We've gone for the classic 2-2-3-3 two, two, three, three wing back asymmetric something or other, according to FM. I'm going to call it the 1-1-2-3-3. One, one, three, three. It's a classic formation. Um, as you can see, we play with everyone down the left-hand side on overload. Um, if I show you the instructions, we're going to look to work the ball down the right-hand side where the majority of our players aren't. We're going to play wide and we're going to push higher up, stick to position, shoot on sight, go route one. Um, yeah, I, I'm optimistic. I feel like this is the system to play. And we're going to be playing more risky because why not? And also offside trap. Fantastic idea. Um, looking at the player instructions, they're, they're all basically being told to run higher up the pitch. And they're all also being told to go forward when we're defending every single scenario, including kind of corners. So we're going to have no one defending corners for us, which is going to work out absolutely excellently, I assure you. On the goalkeeper, I actually want to sort this out because I want him to. I want to put him on, uh, pass it shorter, and I want him to distribute it to the. 
Where, where? To the flanks? If we do to the flanks, it should go to the right-hand side, which is where we're being told to play. So hopefully that will work for us. And um, we'll, we'll tend to take short kicks to just to be even more risky. But that's the system we're playing. I'm optimistic about this one. Um, I have no idea how many we're going to lose by. Maybe we should put them on sweeper keeper attack. Let's do that. That could make a difference. Uh, so yeah, this is the system that we're playing. This is the team that we're going to be sticking with. Um, and let's get into our first game. Oh, pre-season results. Um, these weren't fully optimised, but we can see the double figures every time. So that's a very good omen. But anyway, uh, to round up this first episode of this kind of experiment mini-series thing, we're going to do the Arsenal game. I'm going to, as I mentioned before, cut... Uh, kind of this game up a little bit just because it's probably going to be pretty gory in terms of the result and um, obviously you guys don't want to necessarily sit down and watch me get hammered for 20 minutes I mean I think we'll win but we'll see how we get on so this will be edited um, but yeah uh, if you have any suggestions for how I can further optimize the tragicness of this tactic and of course as I mentioned before if you want to let me know if you think I should keep re-adding myself as a manager or if when I get sacked very shortly probably into the season I should just retire as a manager and see what happens let me know down in the comments but we're going to get into this game as I mentioned we're going to be cutting it up doing kind of this and that but I'm optimistic of us getting a result here uh, with our system, so yeah, let's see how we get on. Uh, I'm gonna piss off all the players too. Um, okay, that didn't work. Assertive. Uh, how? I'm expecting solid defensive work. Yes, this is what we want. Take control of the midfield. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect team talk. So yeah, this is gonna be gory. Uh, and oh, I, I have oh god they're on the attack they're on the attack it's a good start it's a good start it's a very good start maybe we shouldn't have highlights on because otherwise we're going to be here a while but 18 seconds our campaign has got off to a fantastic start at the club oh god Oh god. Well Beck's through. Is he offside? He looked off. He's not off. He's not off. Well, I think the system's working perfectly if you asked me. Uh, but yeah, uh, two goals after two minutes. I'm most certainly going to have to cut up this game and probably post comments. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Uh, th this could end 90-0. Maybe I should turn up the, the highlight speed. Maybe. I feel like I need Benny Hill in on the background. That's that is Benny Hill, isn't it? I can't even remember. Oh gosh, right. Was that not given? No. Oh gosh, Welbeck's through. It's it it's four. Well, things are getting off to a pretty good start. I think you could say a very good start. It's only five. Only only uh, six. It's, okay. Okay, I'm just going to speed this up and um, yeah, I, I guess I'll see you guys at half time if we're still alive after this. Well, at least it's only 35 nil, I guess. Right. Um, you're unlucky, boys. I'm a, I'm a god. I'm a god. I am a god. In in all seriousness, though, I am just going to skip to the end of the game rather than let you watch the second half of highlights. If we can have an improvement on the first half and, you know, concede less than 70 overall, that would be fantastic. It really would be. Sometimes in football, you have matches which you deserve to win. T games where you just completely outperform the opposition. This wasn't one of those days. My assistant wants to, us to assure them that they played well. You're unlucky, but it works. Uh, you're on. <laughs> you're expected to lose, but no one expected a defeat. Um, I don't think we disgraced ourselves. Looking at the stats, uh, yeah, Danny Welbeck got 13, Wiltshire got 11, Erzul got 10, Giroud got 7. Um, I think we were unlucky. Match stats. They only had 79 clear-cut chances. 
They only scored 58. Second half just wasn't up to standard. We we improved. We we proved that we we can defend, and we completed some passes. And the average rating wasn't terrible. But yeah, um, <laughs> this is going to wrap things up for episode one of ruining Manchester City. I've never seen a post-match thing look like this. Um, but yeah, not every episode's obviously going to be like this because obviously the idea in the series is that we see what happens long term to Man City as a result of my actions in one year. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's something different, something a little bit kind of silly, but it's nice to do something a little bit more casual and a little bit more kind of ridiculous, I guess, on my YouTube channel because most of the time my content's fairly serious. So as I mentioned right at the start, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Episode 2 will come out at 500 likes. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. It is me, Jack, and I'm out.